Greetings fellow Shek, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shek's Conquest, Episode 15, Space Lasers. Oh, uh, give that over to Rodamon. And... It's eaten by Kimo, maybe? And Nanashi? Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a little tricky to feed everyone, but, uh, that's fine. I do have a little bit more money, and once I get to the way station, I can buy a little bit more food. So here are the tech hunters. Uh, his, in the lore of Kenshi, the tech hunters and the Shek aren't hostile with one another. The Shek in Kenshi lore are really only hostile with the splitter factions and with um, a few bountied bosses, and then the Holy Nation. Those are the natural enemies of the Shek. There's a, uh, there's a dog den to my left of all bone dogs. Gonna want to avoid that. It'd be a lot of meat. Well, not a lot of meat. It would be some meat, but uh, a lot of trouble. Oh, man. The Metal Leviathan. There's a lot of very interesting points of interest in lore in Kenshi. And that would be one of them. Who's chasing me? Blood Raiders? Oh, Lord. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm actually not interested in the fight. I'm trying to get back home eventually. So, we'll avoid it. Now, if memory serves, this is actually a pretty good way station to do mining it, because we get left alone relatively well, and it had a bunch of copper around it. So, I'm going to stay here to make a little bit of money. Uh, so, let's reference the roster again. Our laborers would be Fang, Trapper, Caper, McNower, and Poetic. Those are the best miners. So, Fang. And Trapper Keeper. And let me adjust the squad uh, so that they are next to one another. We have Poetic and McNower now. So, we'll have hit them hit another... Oops, not help. Another uh, Copper Node. Which is right over here. Poetic, McNower, and then uh, Oren. Oren's actually very capable as well. You go over there. And then who else is uh, good labor? Ruka is a good labor. So we'll have six people mining copper, uh, which should get me some food and the money I need for the last recruit before we head home. Let's see if there's other copper nodes. One, two... No, there's really just the three that are uh, there that are in close proximity. The rest are kind of far. And I don't want people to split up too far, because uh, that's inviting trouble. So, we're going to eat that pretty much immediately, but that's fine. Yep, it's gone. <laughs> I'm going to see if the next door has uh, food, too. So that was... No, they don't. That was instantaneous. There's other uh, There's other meat sources that I... Oh, Oron! Holy hell! You got knocked unconscious, like, instantaneously. I had no time to, uh, uh... To fight back. They all just, like, crit her chest. Alright, I'm having everyone, uh, rally to Ruka. These are just outlaws that are just being harassing. But Oren's unconscious. And we'll have a bit of a showdown, I just... Uh, she's not bleeding that bad, though. Alright, you guys want to pick a fight? I will happily make my money I need by slicing you up. Ah, oh, they have a bone dog. Darn. 
Oh, and McNower and Poetic are now getting skewered by skimmers. Man, I cannot get left alone, can I? Alright, so let's have everybody rally to one central location. I'm gonna even have Trapper Keeper and Fang come over to help fight. Because that skimmer just, uh, just shredded me. And we're actually not doing that well in this fight, but hey, I mean, it's experience, and that's fine. These are mostly swordsmen, and not farmers. There's a few farmers in the mix, but not a whole lot of them. And because they outnumber us, uh, they're landing, you know, a lot more hits than we are of, of them. Uh, let's see. There we go. So we have everybody committed to the fight. Els is down. Yeah, that bone dog is just chewing up the group. I'm going to try to uh, have multiple people fight the bone dog, but I don't really have the... I'm stretched thin already. And then anytime we knock any of them out, I'm going to loot their weapon and drop it on the ground so that if they get back up, I don't have to fight them twice. But uh, this is a, a good fight to have because it's it's about the combat strength of us. You know, we're, we're relatively equal matched. And as a result, we're getting probably the best bang for our buck um, experience-wise. And they're not cannibals, you know, so they're not going to eat us. All right, this one's down. And then I'll grab all the uh, the things worth having and drop it. We'll win, but, you know, with some unconscious. Oh, uh, let's keep that sword. Actually, I'm going to drop it on the ground so I know to loot it. And where's the bone dog? Wow, I'm surprised Kang is down. Being one of the toughest. So I'm just stripping them so that they, uh, they're easy to take out and we can grab their gear later. And this will be pretty good money, actually. Uh, no, I think about it, because, um... Because there's a, a whole bunch of the swords and whatnot. Oh, here's the bone dog. Okay, cool. Let's grab the bone dog's stuff before it gains consciousness. Oop, sharp point. Collapse. And they're all, they're all done. There's a lot of stuff on the ground for me to loot. I'll continue to, um, disarm. Uh, oh, that's sharp point. Oh, man. Just trying to make a little bit of money. Very challenging. Alright, I just gave uh, Medic as a job for everyone. And I know we're very hungry. So I'll be trying to buy some extra food. Oh, speaking of hunger... I can cook that bone dog. Yeah, medic jobs are on. They're all on. Where are you going? He's just running away. Alright, have fun wherever you're headed. We look so similar to uh, some of the farmers that we're fighting that it's it's hard to differentiate friend from foe a little bit. 
And I'm just throwing arbitrary people in the camp bed for now. I'll be prioritizing soon. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, yep. All that has been eaten. Jim Bob, thank you for the bits. Does the game have horses? Oddly, it does not. So there's horse choppers, but no horses. Man, that was a closer fight than I, I thought it would be. Alright, Cowley, let's grab you a heart protector for you to actually wear and use. Uh, Els will do the same thing when he's conscious. Oh, yeah, he's conscious now. And let's have you grab a hat. Doesn't really do anything, but, yeah, whatever. Alright. Now, the priority of getting the people that have leg injuries. Nanashi, did you... I'm really curious. Did you lose your leg again? Yep, same leg. Oh my god. It is a pattern. You, you poor... Poor, poor... Crippled person. No matter what I do, that right leg always gets skewered. Horses went extinct due to the horse chopper invention. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's like, uh... It's like buffalo in America, right? Alright, so Fang, you have a pretty bad leg injury. Um... Kang, you gotta... Oh, and then I L's is even worse than Fang, so L's get in. Alright. There we go. In terms of weapons, I'm gonna switch up the weapons as well. I'm gonna err on the side of, like, horse choppers over, like, blunts. Uh, Turda, you need a better weapon, too. God, that's a ter terrible quality, but whatever. Els needs one as well. Once we get home... Oh, and Cowley, too. Once we get home, we'll be able to, um... To definitely get better equipment crafted up or whatever. We're just not there yet. All right, so everyone's been patched up. We have a lot of leg injuries. Uh, now is time for me to go sell all the spoils of this fight. It's gonna take me a few trips to get the um, uh, to get the staffs, but that's fine. Antheix, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Well, what happened here? Oh, uh, just, just Kenshi things. Some out, outlaws decided to pick, pick a fight with me, and uh, they, they lost. They really lost. Now, we're up to 4K. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to stick at 4K because I'm about to buy food. Uh, I think... Food cubes are the most, you know, efficient source of food, calorie to calorie. Who are you? Cloud ninjas. Oh, look at look at you, little ninja. And now all the food food cubes have been eaten. As quick as that. All right. So the other thing I want to do is get back to the mining that I was trying to do. Oh, what happened to Orin? Oh, you're here. Okay. Because Oren was like the first knocked out. So, let's go try to do the mining that I was trying to do originally and was ridiculously and rudely interrupted by um, the people that wanted to eat me. Or beat me. I don't, I don't know which. Both. And, okay, those are slivers. Um, 
all right, so we have everyone mining or manning the mines. And then this group here, I don't think I'm going to go sell those staffs. They're just not enough money in it. Yeah. Uh, this group here is going to guard those that are uh, laid on the ground. And Rockfin's going to run around and collect the, the beautiful loot and sell it. Hoping to make enough money to get the heck out of this desert once and for all. Oh, and we're under attack again. By Cloud Ninjas? Yep, by Cloud Ninjas. Okay, uh, so I'm going to have the Town Guard deal with it and loot the Cloud Ninjas, which should be very lucrative. Or not Town Guard, uh, Way Station Guards. So the best way to do that is to go onto the roof of one of the bars and have the barman deal with it. This is uh, this is probably better money than even mining copper, to be honest. Because Cloud Ninjas are relatively well geared. And uh, it's going to be my gear. They're, they're going to get thrown out and then I'll, I'll grab what's getting thrown out and... All right, so for now, I think my main worry is nutrients. I'm going to... I don't want anyone to starve. And then once I have enough money, I'll start selling for profit, trying to build up enough money to recruit the last person I want to recruit. So this is a tech hunter. Don't want to loot them. Yeah, th these both are tech hunters. In fact, um, I'm actually going to first aid them a little bit because they help... To, well, that one's a robot. I can't first aid him. I could repair him, but I don't want to use my repair kit that way. Because these guys guard the town. And uh, if they're guarding the town, it means that they can kill cloud ninjas for me. What quality is this? Oh, they're actually not bad quality. So here is the ninja's gear. Um, the drifter leather pants have... Don't slow me down, have better coverage. Yep. Serves you right. And then there's also this skimmer here to uh, to loot. I, I think there's more ninjas around, I just don't know where they are. I'll have to go find them in a minute. Yay. Some, some uh, faction opinion. <laughs> exactly. It's not much. Oh, look at that sell price. Oh, that was some money. In fact, I'm going to sell the dark leather shirt. Uh, because I'm just trying to get enough money to get the heck out of here. So, although, you know, it's nice gear to have. I'm going to part with it. And this, these guys are going to bankroll my, uh, my desert exit. Yeah, here they are. Thank you for picking a fight with me. It will be my pleasure. Okay, 10k. That's a bit different than what I was at previously. I'm going to spend some on meat wraps. So that I can feed people, so I'm back down to 4k. Oh, but that's fine. I'd rather have a fed population than enough money to recruit one more. Um, I probably... Yeah, I have some copper to sell as well. And there's likely to be other ninjas around uh, that I can... Yeah, there's another one just right outside the bar that I can sell. Or strip and sell. Oh, he's up. Hey, buddy. You didn't learn your lesson the first time. Maybe not even the second time, but you'll learn eventually. Or not. Maybe maybe you'll just die. Actually, that's... Oh, don't do that to me, guard. Ugh. Denied. Loot denied. That man, put him down. Okay, here's another one that's going to get put down. Bada bing, bada boom.
And we're up to 11k now. That is just fine. I think that's probably enough money to rent beds for recovery, I would say. And to have enough to recruit. Oh, yeah, you put them down, finally. Finally. Okay, so that might be all the ones that um, I can sell. Fourteen, almost fifteen K. Looking good. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is everyone converge because we have enough. We have enough money for the recruits and to rest in beds briefly so that I can be fully healed. Uh, I'm going to hand out these stolen kits here, like one to everyone, just to make room for the uh, sleeping bags in my inventory. Uh, seems to me like nobody is immediately eating my food, which means that um, I have enough food for everybody, which is great. And we'll be on our way shortly. So I have, uh, yeah, I have a whole bunch of food cubes stashed now. Alright, everybody else go back inside. We're gonna rent the... They only have, what, five beds to rent? But we're gonna rent the five beds and try to heal up. Because where I'm headed uh, is not a good place to be injured. Because if you're injured, you're just big thing food. Alright, so we're all cooked. Up to the roof. And let's get bed rentals. Expensive, but I didn't... It's not really my money, so I'm using other people's money. Works for me. I'm not going to bother renting the, the, the sleeping rolls, though. Because they don't have the same uh, rest bonus speed. So they're just not worth it to me. And I'll leave it on max speed so we can get out of here. Actually, let me grab the rest of the copper that I had mined up. Because I think we completely mined up a few nodes. Oh, well, some. Who are you? Ah, one of the naked cloud ninjas. I bet he's pissed that uh, I jacked his gear. Oh, wow, there's more cloud ninjas fighting... No, they're just the naked ones that I had already stripped. They just keep fighting and fighting and fighting because they just don't know better. Woke up in the desert. Oh! Uh, let me... Everyone's going to be on passive, so no one will just pop out of their beds. These, who just ran in here? Oh, here's a here's a, a cloud ninja who's unlooted and unconscious. Yes, please. It's probably the last one I'm gonna loot. I feel like uh, at some point it's just exploit, so I'm not gonna loot beyond this one. I'll leave the rest of the gear. So we're up to 18k, and I'll go no higher. On a matter of principle, I I guess. It's um. Frustration pay from getting sh sniped by the mobile. Um, noble. Let's call it. I'm not going to bother with the research books here, uh, because there's plenty of... Uh, there's plenty of way stations way closer to home, so I might want the money. Um, if I find other recruits or something like that. I don't want to spend unless I have to. So Case needs to heal. Should be a decent gear upgrade. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to um, to do that. I'm just not going to for roleplay reasons. Because roleplay. Do I mean for him to have this hat on? Yeah, I do. I like it. What you don't like it? 
I know it doesn't really offer any protection, but uh, that's fine. All right, so those that are fully healed are going to go wait downstairs, wait out front, so I can get through the healing quickly. So Callie will be next. I did loot all the nodes that I was mining, yeah. Well, no, not that one. I lied. There was one left. So I now I've looted all the, the nodes that I was mining. Okay, rain will be fully healed in just a second. Uh, what just happened? More cloud ninjas? Yep. So I'm just gonna leave the rest of them. I've made enough money that uh, I don't want to ruin the progression of the, the series by becoming too wealthy too quick. Next up will be Nanashi. Nanashi's bum leg and poetic. Yeah. Because RP reasons... If you really wanted to, it's so, and I mentioned this really early on in the, in the stream, it is so easy to steal and get ridiculously wealthy, ridiculously fast in Kenshi, and then just buy the best gear and sort of ignore the slow climb, the slow, you know, build up of, a uh, of becoming stronger. So it's something that I always have rules not to do because it makes for Honestly, just piss poor entertainment. If you ask me, going from zero to hero in a blink of an eye because you stole something expensive doesn't make any sense, storytelling wise. Oh, I am under attack by one of these cloud ninjas. Okay, sure. You're naked. I could probably deal with you. It's not like you're tin fist and are good at martial arts. I'll let the guards do the rest. We'll do it faster. Did everybody? Yeah, everybody got out of their own beds. Sit your butts back down, y'all. I have you on passive. I suppose you weren't listening to the fact that you were supposed to be on passive. You know what? I am tired of these guys fighting. I'm just going to hold them. How about that, huh? Let's go. Oh, this one's playing dead. Here, I'll I'll show you why you shouldn't play dead with me. Let me just go pick him up. This is a fully looted. Oh, and then there's another one up there too. So Nanashi and Fang are just gonna go pick up these guys. I'm just preventing them from being able to fight, so I can rest in peace. Oh, I probably shouldn't have used that phrase. It's too ominous. Alright, Els, you're almost done. And then Orin will be next. When I leave, what I could do is just drop the... Uh, drop them and then walk out. But as long as I'm holding them, they can't resist, right? So that's the sort of concept is... I don't want to have to continue fighting them or continually fight them, so I'll just incapacitate them by carrying them. Uh, Trapper Keeper, you could probably just skip the heal queue altogether. As can Rockvin. Uh, Turda is going to jump in in lieu of Orin because Turda is real messed up and will require a long time to heal. Uh, Ruka, you're close enough. Orin, you're close enough. And now we're just waiting on basically Turda. Cheers. Okay, so we're going to go to Eye Socket, as it says up top, and then we're going to get home. I do have a question about getting home, though, that I'm going to ask you all. God, look at this Jaku guy. He's shirtless. 
What a boss. Uh, so the question I have for all of you is... Let me get my poll. I have a lot of windows now. Um, should I avoid faction raids by moving my kitchen into the hub? And I want to explain this question before I have you vote on it. So, in Kenshi, as soon as you have a physical structure, uh, like the little shack that has my cactus, uh, my cactus stove, as soon as you have a physical structure, uh, you start to attract faction raids. And uh, what I can do is I can actually move that little um, cactus cooker into the hub to avoid the faction raids so that I can make more industrial progress more quickly without having to constantly avoid getting attacked by Black Dragon Genin or Holy Nation or whoever was coming by. So um, that's what this poll is about. So go ahead, feel free to vote one way or another. It's up to you, I really don't, uh, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm just wondering if you want me to have, if you want to see like um, progress that isn't hindered by annoying constant raids or not. And, and what I'm going for here is uh, I want to build up enough industry and enough skill of my guys so that when I do start my own town, I defend it. So that's what I'm waiting for. Um, I'll know it. I'll know when I get there by the fact that like my guys can actually defend themselves and fight well. And I'm not there yet. And I'm not going to be there for a bit, which is why I'm using the hub. Okay, so we managed to eat all but five things left which is unfortunate. All of the food wealth that I had. If I really wanted to min-max it, um... Okay, Turdy, you're good enough. If I really wanted to min-max it, I would have had everyone sitting on, like, bar stools at least. Okay. And then, we're gonna walk out here, drop the dumb dumb dummies that wouldn't leave me alone, and then we'll get out to eye socket. Some of these, um, some of these ninjas here that I was carrying might not even be alive. Yeah, some of them are actually physically corpses. And then there's this one, who's... Oh, hold on. You know what? Uh, nah, I'm just gonna leave them. They're not gonna fight me, I don't think. Alright, so, let's head... South. Trying to get to Ice Socket. With my 19k. Might not look like much, but it's all I've got. Whoa, okay. Thread the needles. Oh, no, I did get lasered. Okay, let me, um... Being here in daytime is a little sketchy. I'm gonna patch up. Hope I don't take a direct laser. Okay. I'll follow Cowley and run east. I also need to avoid, uh, the lasers aren't the only danger here, so there's other dangers as well, and I need to avoid them, so keep my eyes wide open. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here is the other dangers. These are Thrall. Luckily, the Thrall don't move very fast, so they're avoidable, but I wouldn't want to have to fight a Thrall army right now. Elves, are you slowest? Uh-oh. So many lasers! I should have waited till nightfall. I think Elves is the slowest. Alright, everybody follow Elves. And Elves got lasered. I think he's the only one. Alright, no time to stop here. I want to get away from these lasers. And... Let me try to play DJ. I really love the soundtrack. It's just those two songs that blow out your eardrums. Or like one song, really. Alright. 
L's. So now we're the Storm Gap Coast. We should be not getting shot by lasers anymore. And they're talking about some of the enemies that can be found in this biome, which is, um, can be scary. We're, we're, I'll, I'll put it this way. And I think this should be very evident to even people that aren't familiar with Kenshi. Ah, oh, crap. Who are you? Oh, just some grass pirates. It's actually not that prop. Much of a problem. And that discovered market I just discovered, that's, that's where I'm headed. If all goes well. So that is here. Go wait, grass pirates. I don't have time for you. These ga grass pirates move at about the same speed of bells, but if they're at the same speed, they won't catch up. It's Tree. Thanks for the follow. And Mahondo, too. Alright, so you guys want me to move my, my kitchenette, and I'll do that, just to avoid some annoyance. So this is eye socket. It is a slave market, uh, but I'm not here to hire slaves, although if there are some, maybe I will. I'm here for someone else. Alright, I don't... this is not my fight. Right, so let's go to the roof of the slaver bar, just to avoid this fight. And that's who I'm looking for. This person right here. Hello, headshot. Remethep, thanks for the raid, by the way. You come at an interesting time, right as I'm talking to headshot. All right, so headshot. They call me headshot. Want to take a stab at why? Uh, something to do with heads, I think. That's right. Shot a lot of heads. Slave heads, to be exact. She is a slave hunter. Do I lose sleep at night over it? Nah. I can use someone with those skills. You're hired. Alright, so here's Headshot. She is going to be the only person allowed to wheel crossbows in our group. Um, for whatever reason, I don't understand why. Uh, she doesn't start with a crossbow. But, uh, yeah, there's Headshot. And she does have a skill of uh, 50 with crossbows. So she's considerably skilled. Um, she just doesn't have one at the moment. Uh, I'm going to have her sell her armored rags because they slowed her down. So she's not really wearing anything. Uh, here, Rockfin, you can give your shirt to her at least. There we go. That's polite of you. Uh, then some of the... Us rest of the money that I have here, I'm going to spend buying the dried meat. And uh, that was the last person around here that I was going to recruit. So let me update my roster. Get up to this roster here. Uh, we've got headshot. Skills is crossbow. And weapon preference crossbows. And with no honor, of course, she's uh, she's not a, a random. She's a preset. Uh, there is two slots left for 9 and 10. Um, I know that's a bit of a spoiler, but, you know, whatever. I spoiled it. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I, uh, let, let's see if there's any slaves, check slaves, to, to be able to hire. But then we'll, we'll bounce. Or not hire, but, but purchase. I don't see any on the roof. Oh, and the... the the slave shop is actually closed. What about this one? And that is a scorch lander. God, who is having a massive conversation? I think this is, um... No, this is just random people in the bar. Talking up a storm. Uh... Makano, read the rules. It will answer that question for you. So there is a shek... Two shek in here. Uh, one horned and one hornless. And... I'll buy their freedom. I have the money. So, Nat. 
and Logan. All right, I have no idea if they're going to join me, but their freedom has been purchased. We'll see if they join. I still have yet to rename Nanashi because I haven't found a a surgeon. Um, maybe I'll check real quick if there's a surgeon in here. Barman. Because Nanashi should be named fully. Barfly. No, no surgeons here. Okay. All right. So we're going to follow Headshot. She's definitely going to be the slowest of the group now. And I'm going to loot one of the blades off of... Oh, they don't have blades. This headshot eventually is... We're going to get... Um, yeah, you know, all these grass pirates here. Their dust coats are really good, but I'm not going to steal f from them. God, where are all the weapons going? They're like disarming them and making all the weapons disappear. All right, let's get going. I'm going to head over to the way station and then work ourselves... Uh, west. So let me update the current goal is to get home and uh, move the kitchen into the hub. That is going to be the first thing I do because, yeah, you voted on it. So we're going to avoid faction raids by moving our kitchen just inside. Um, I'm going to walk around briefly uh, just to see if the slaves actually do just decide to join me because I don't I can't stay with you I'm out of here so they both said they're leaving they might have a change of heart Um. yeah incoming dog yeah well if you want to be on your own you have to learn how to fight dogs on your own I'm not doing it for you that's your bone dog to deal with. Yeah, I, I don't think either of them are joining me, but so I'm gonna gonna make my move on. Uh, we got eleven dried meat, which is probably not gonna be enough given the insatiable diets of the Shek, but uh, it's gonna have to do. Oh man, I wish it was nighttime. It's uh, 7 p.m. in game. Um, hmm. Who are you? Oh, you're an outlaw. Cause I'm not really feeling getting lasered again. If I'm gonna be honest. Didn't have a good time the first time it happened, so probably not gonna have a good time the second time. But I'm gonna risk it anyway. Try to get home. Can't I run straight west to entirely avoid it? Uh, sort of. But you do have to run a little south. Here you go, Yoda. Treats. Here you go. We do have some scavengers that are, like, trying to steal from me. It's fine. In the interest of time, I am going to chance it. Whoa, what? Oh, yeah, there was a, uh, a Thrall ambush waiting. Okay, that's cute. Keep moving. And before I go into the next Thrall group, uh, who took damage from the Thralls? Whoever did is fully healed, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Westward. So, you have to be very careful moving east to west. Uh, if you try to go east to west up here, the Holy Nation are going to murder you around Narcos Trap. And then, Deadlands is all acid rain. So, for Shek, who don't have natural acid resistance, unless you have the armor to deal with acid, that's also very dangerous. And even if you do have the armor to deal with acid, it's also full of um, iron spiders, which are like mechanical... Oh, God! Mechanical spiders that will absolutely rip your rip you up. Unless you're combat capable. And uh, so what we need to do is we need to dip a little bit into Shem. And then go just south of the Deadlands. 
but while we're here, we have to avoid the thrall army of the robots, the skeleton thrall. All right, now that it's midnight, I think there should be a lack of lasers. Yeah. Yeah, iron spiders are very slow. You cannot run them, but you gotta watch where you're going. There's another thrall group. Yeah. So this is what they look like. They are headless robots. I know it's really dark. I can't help that. They're headless robots that are sort of crazy, can't be reasoned with. They're not super strong in combat stats, but they're also not organic. So they don't bleed out the same way organics would bleed out which means they're a little bit harder to deal with. Uh, skeleton are, are a species in Kenshi, and they're very tough because they don't have blood, they have oil. And uh, they also have really high body stats, so they can take a, a quite a beating before they go unconscious. The same is actually pretty true of uh, Shek, too. The Shek are very tough uh, compared to, like, Hivers. So if you see our uh, stats here are, like, 125 health. Oh, hey, some beakers. Gotta avoid those. Um, that's, you know, higher than like a Hiver's 50 or whatever it is. By a lot. A hive drone, I should say, because there's different types of hive. So like a fog drone has like no head. Uh, the So here's some iron spiders, if you're wondering what they look like. These are disabled. They've long rusted and they're non non-hostile. They're just, you know, for design. It also makes it a little challenging because as you run through areas that have iron spiders, it's sometimes challenging to tell which ones are active and will fight and try to kill you and which aren't. Um, so I'm going to swing by the way station just east of the hub and buy some research books on my way home. If you take a look at my tech tree, uh, I was in the process of researching first aid kits and iron plates, but um, I can fill out the level three tech tree. Level four, I need ancient science books, which I'm not gonna grab just yet, but being able to make my own um, electrics and stuff like that will be really helpful. We, we were in the process of setting up the electrical component bench, which is a good money maker. And more beat things on the horizon. I don't see any indication of a nest nearby, though. That's good. You don't want to go wandering into a beak thing nest. Ill-prepared. Very, very sad times if you do that. We have a herd of wild bull. If you want a good time, go smack one of them. Trust me, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> bull, in the, if you think um, bone dogs are strong, oh god, wild bull. Stuff a nightmare sometimes. Alright, we are... Ooh, discovered the... Broken teeny settlement. Uh, we're nearly in. Okay, now now that we've crossed into the border zone, the border zone is far safer. Well, thanks for the destruction of my eardrums. That mod doesn't work at all. Yeah, so I was saying the border zone is far safer than just about everywhere else in the game, giving us only. Only dust bandits and starving bandits, which... I mean, dust bandits will give you a hard time early game, but, like... Even early mid-game, if you can't take a dust bandit out, you ain't pl you ain't trying anymore. So, uh, Rockfin is gonna go in and do some shopping. They have 30 books here, but before I start buying the books, I want to buy some food. Because we also hungry. 
Any surgeons in here? Because, uh... Nanashi still needs to get renamed. Oh, there we go. Plastic surgeon. Perfect. Alright, so Nanashi. Nanashi, where are you? There you are. Let's go talk to the surgeon. I could try to buy a better arm, but uh, I'd rather invest in the group, not myself, for now. Alright, Nanashi's been renamed. Cost me only 300 cats, not bad. They don't have a lot of food here. So I'll buy some food cubes, but not I'm not gonna spend all my money on it because I do want some books. Kill him door. Thanks for the follow. Uh, me the floating head here. <laughs> Alright, and the rest spent on books. So 17 books. That'll do. And we'll go out to the hub. Thank you for watching Kenshi Shex Conquest, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 21st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, please let me know in the comments below or join Discord where you can chat with me in real time. The link to Discord can be found in the video's description or at Rodamont.com. Rodamont.com also has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams and my video release schedule for YouTube. Thank you so very much for watching and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers for supporting the channel. I couldn't do it without you. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, Shek.